Okay, on to the second part of our drawing from a photograph. We're going to use similar colors, but this time we're actually going to use smaller brushes. So, speeding this up, you'll see that I'm actually working from the back to the front, so uh, I've mixed up some darker colors, and now I'm looking at my photo, I'm seeing there's a little bit of color reflecting back from my fruit, so I'm going to try to add in a little bit of that color there. And similar to the lemon, I'm working the shadows back and forth, back and forth, because I like the richness that happens when you add color into um, itself and try to mix it on the sheet. And I'll do that with everything, whether it's that little spot on the apple. And I'm going to now start going fruit to fruit and working on the dark areas, because all of these colors do relate. And observing the actual photo, noticing that there might be a little crimson in there, so add that in at times, and really trying to get as specific as I can. And you'll see that as I am observing, I'm trying to capture more of the detail. And this is not going to be a high detail painting, but it, I do want to get the uh, feeling and the energy of these still life objects captured in paint. And really embrace what paint does and how it moves and how brush strokes look on the paper. So adding some details. If I add something a little too dark, I can always add a little bit of lightness on top of it to uh, create that shadow. Now moving on to the next piece of fruit. So I've got my crimson and my red, a little white, maybe a little bit of brown in there, uh, and a little bit of yellow because I noticed that the apple has a little bit of orange. So I'm trying to find and locate those colors and find the, the large areas of where a color might live and then blend it in. Again, this is the second pass. We'll probably have one more after this. So notice as I'm trying to find those light spots and those dark spots um, and how when we lean back, it is starting to make sense. And it's always easy, if you need to, um, to take your paintbrush and hold it right up next to the photograph to say, am I close? Is this color accurate? So we'll just let this play out to see how uh, the color stacks on and how layering it up is really starting to give us a, another sense of dimensionality. And after this, we will have one more pass. There you have it.